In this tutorial, we'll be covering linking. What is linking? Well, linking is the attaching of one object to another. When that object is, is attached or linked to another object, it will follow the movement of the object it's linked to. Also, while linked, the object can also be manipulated and moved about. It's just that the object that it's linked to will drag it around as that object is moved. Unlinking an object releases it from the object it was linked to. And when unlinked, it will not follow that object around anymore. To show an example of how linking works, we will take Eddie here and we will bring in a cap. And we will place this cap on Eddie's head. Make it a little bit smaller here. And then we're going to have Eddie walk. Now if we go to animation, pick walk, and we'll have him walk confidently. Pick the actor, and there he is walking. Now if you notice, as Eddie's walking, the hat's not moving with him. Now you could take and move the hat so that it follows Eddie, but the easier way to do is to select the hat, click on the link button, and come down and you'll see various items highlighted in blue and that's what you'll be linking to. We'll put it to his hair. So now the hat is linked to his hair. So whenever his hair moves, the hat will move. So if we go back and make him walk again, we now see that his hat moves when Eddie moves. You can also link multiple objects to the same object. Here we'll link the hat hit the link to the head and the glasses. To the head. So now we have both the hat and the glasses linked to the head. So anytime the head moves, the glasses and the hat will also move. And we can show that here by moving the head. And everything moves with it. Now the other thing you can do is We'll disconnect or unlink the glasses from the head. We can take and move those up and put them on top of the hat and then link them to the hat. So now the glasses are linked to the hat, which is linked to the head. So anytime the head moves, the hat moves. Anytime the hat moves, the glasses move, as you can see there. Now to show a little bit more graphically what we can do here is we can move we can separate these out okay so now if you come down to the actor move the head everything moves with it the head moves the hat the hat moves the glasses so now if we go up into the hat and move that you can see where the hat moves the glasses now if something else was linked to the glasses then the hat would move the glasses, which would move that other object. Or if you went up to the glasses and moved that, then it would move the other object. And you can daisy chain these uh, as far as you need to. In this example, I will use both linking and unlinking. We'll have one actor pick up the apple and pass it to the other actor. I will walk through this slowly first and I'll play it in real time. The actor on the right is going to bend over. We have her bend over. And as she gets near there, if you notice, her hand, her right hand there, is changing from the downward open palm to an upward open palm. That's so it looks more realistic to pick up the apple. And as she scoots her hand under the apple, the apple rolls into her hand. All right, and right at this point here, if you also can see down here, is where we actually link the apple to the right hand. So now as the actor straightens up again, the apple follows the hand. Then the actor is standing up again. Then we have the second actor reach for the apple. She gets her hand over there. And we make sure that uh, she is in front of the apple. And you can select her and, and use this to move her forward and behind the apple there. You make sure she's in front. And then you unlink the apple from the first actor and then link it to the second actor's hand, which you can see right down here where the linking happens right there. And then the second actor's hand pulls back with the apple 
to her face as if she's going to take a bite of it. And the first actor's hand can recede back down to her side. And that's uh, linking and unlinking. Now we'll go back and play this in real time. One more time. Reaches, links, unlinks, and there you have it. In summary, we've seen that linking allows one object to be connected to another one, and that object will then follow the movements of the one it is linked to. This is useful so you don't have to coordinate the movement of the linked object to the object that you're trying to follow. You just link them up and it automatically follows. And when you unlink it, of course, it stops following that object. Also, you can have multiple objects linked to the same object. As an example, you could put a hat on an actor and have that hat linked to its head. You can also put glasses on the actor and have the glasses linked to the head. So anytime the head moves, the glasses and the hat will follow uh, where the head moves. You can also link uh, multiple objects in a daisy chain fashion where you can link... Uh, say some glasses that you put on top of your hat that's on your head. The glasses can be linked to the hat and then the hat's linked to the head. Keep in mind that uh, when the head moves everything that's linked to it will move with it. Now if you move the hat uh, that will only move whatever's linked to the hat which would be the glasses sitting on top of the hat. So if you keep that in mind there's another way you can link and of course when you unlink them they will stop following.